Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 24 7 I'm here to give you guys a app review today of OnLive Desktop for the iPad. Now this is an app that essentially allows you to run a version of Windows on your iPad to do um, some tasks. Um, mainly the big thing that they're tying with this is Office, so you'll be able to run Microsoft Word, or Microsoft Excel, and PowerPoint on this as if you were sitting in front of a real computer. So to do this, you need to download this app in the App Store. I'll put a link for it down in the description, and also you're gonna need a free OnLive Desktop account, um, which is also free, and it allows you to get a sort of like a Dropbox type um, interface, so you can drag files, and that's basically what it allows you to do, and it also allows you to get into the Windows interface. So the app icon for it is right here. It just has the OnLive logo with the some graphs and pie charts and some productivity logos behind it. It's probably fits the app very well. So let's open it up. This is the splash screen for on live desktop. Then what you're going to need to do is you're going to um, type in whatever account details and email address you put in when you signed up. Since mine already typed in, I'm just going to hit sign in. It takes a little bit because my internet's not really the fastest right now. But once it loads, this is basically what you get. You get a full version of Windows. Let me just zoom out of this real quick. Show you guys what it's gonna look like. So you get your taskbar down here with you know your Windows apps like uh, they so Word, Excel, PowerPoint, a few uh, Microsoft Touch apps because this is essentially Windows 7 running on a tablet. So they do give you the full functionality of all the tablet apps that Windows 7 has. Uh, down here in the corner. Um, there is a little check mark that lets you know that it's syncing with the cloud. So if you have any documents that you threw from your Mac or PC that you want to work on here, um, it would sync and then you can um, get all these documents on your desktop, um, essentially. So let me just show you some of the things you can do. So one of the big things, like I said earlier, is that it can run Office. So let me just double click on Microsoft Word. And essentially opens Word 2010. And here it is. It's basically the same UI and same concept. There's no modifications done to it. This is the full version of Windows, uh, I mean not Windows, of uh, Word that you would see on uh, Windows 7. So you got the uh, ribbon interface up here with all the controls and the page layouts and you know all the buttons down here work and the save buttons work so you can save things uh, as you can see. So it's actually pretty cool. It actually runs um, pretty cool, pretty well I should say. Um, so if you want to type something, all you got to do is type uh, tap the uh, paper and hit the keyboard. Now the one thing I don't like about this is that you have to use the traditional Windows keyboard. It doesn't use the iPad's native keyboard, which is something I would like to see implemented uh, some way that you can use the iPad keyboard. But if you need the Windows button, um, it just, it, maybe it's a own separate window over here or something. But uh, I would like to see the Windows, the actual iPad keyboard um, be integrated in this app because this keyboard doesn't really work that well on the iPad screen. So let me just try to type you guys something. So I'm gonna type in Apple. Oops. As you can see, it works pretty well. Now I wouldn't use this to type a whole paper. Um, I think you can use your Bluetooth mice or Bluetooth keyboards that you can attach to your iPads, and you can type that way. But if you need to use the on-screen keyboard, it is there for you. Also, what it allows you to do is you have a stylus pen or anything like that. It allows you to use the handwriting recognition. So you can um, write things here and it automatically pops up if you have a stylus or anything. So that's pretty neat. So we're going to close out of this. I'm going to give you guys a demonstration of the few other apps that we that this app has to offer. So we're going to open Excel. Excel 2010. Let's make this full screen. Now the one thing I do I don't like about you know this is just Windows in general since everything lives on the desktop like folders and everything not like the Mac since everything's in the Finder that you do open other things when you're trying to maximize Windows. Um, so yeah, you would do anything you would do in Excel like type formulas or anything like that you would do that in here. Since I don't know Excel, I'm not gonna do anything, so I'm just gonna close this out. And what's cool is so if I open uh, PowerPoint up, we're gonna open PowerPoint up as the last step I'm gonna show you. And you want to work on a Word document. Uh, the Windows arrow features do work, so if I want to bring this down and then bring PowerPoint over here. And then if I want to open up Microsoft Word again, I can bring this app down essentially. And I can be working on two different things at once. So I can be making a presentation over here and working on uh, on the paper over here. So something that's as simple as that. 
And again, um, the start menu doesn't have really any other programs on. It just has paint and stuff like that. But the log off button down the bottom is for if you want to log off the uh, live desktop. So yeah, guys, that's basically about it. If you ever wanted a way that you can run a sort of like a modified version of Windows with Office on without having to wait for Microsoft to release an iPad version of Office or you just have a computer in front of you, uh, this is a cool way to do it. It's free, so that's the best price, I guess. I'll put a link to this app down in the description in case you guys are interested. And I will see you guys in the next video.